2020 to 2022 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper to the National Assembly for approval. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, confirmed the receipt of the fiscal document at a Wednesday's plenary before inaugurating all the 69 Senate Standing Committees. National Assembly correspondent TJ Suade has details on this recent development. And to beat the December deadline the National Assembly set for itself to conduct a thorough review of the 2020 appropriation bill is still in motion as it has received the medium-term expenditure framework and the fiscal strategy paper for 2020 to 2022. It is with pleasure that I hereby submit the 2020 to 2022 medium-term ex um, expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper, MTEP, MTEP stroke FSP to the Senate. Joining me via Skype is a public finance and policy analyst, Olushegun Elemo. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, there were initial concerns of a possible delay of the budget because of the medium-term expenditure framework not being sent to the Senate. But now that it has been sent, are there still concerns uh, that uh, Nigerians or experts should be worried about uh, perhaps the delay? Seeing the, seeing the government wants to start a, a new dispensation of having the budget begin on a January to December basis. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that question. Uh, certainly, there are still concerns uh, about delay uh, because, uh, you know, Section 11 of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, you know, states clearly what the president should do before laying the budget uh, before the National Assembly. Uh, it says that not later than four months before the commencement of the next financial year, uh, the president shall cause to be prepared a medium-term expenditure framework and lay it before the National Assembly. Four months. Uh, if we go by the calendar of the federal government now, wanting the budget for the 2020 to be passed by December, then you know that uh, we're a month behind. Uh, because if uh, the MTF and the FSP uh, is, was just sent yesterday, uh, then even the federal government is already a month behind. Uh, and um, even the, uh, the, 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 the Fiscal Responsibility Act, uh, Section 18, you know, also you know, states why uh, you know, MTEF and FSP is very important uh, to, the, to the budget. You know, uh, the, the MTEF, the Medium Term Expenditure Framework and the Fiscal Strategy Paper is supposed to set out the macroeconomic projections for the next three financial years, the underlying uh, assumptions for those projections and evaluation analysis of uh, macroeconomic projections for the preceding uh, 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 three financial years. So if the president is just sending that now, I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have uh, some delay. And the other thing that might happen is that uh, the National Assembly will not have uh, enough time. All right, uh, be, be, before you go on, uh, uh, Shagun, uh, now that you have highlighted the essence or importance of the MTF and FSP before there is a pro budget proposal, uh, there are concerns as well in some quarters that uh, the, the budget proposal had come before the MTF. Or on what basis then is, is the budget proposal? What did you say? There are concerns that uh, the MTEF, uh, seeing that it is supposed to determine what comes up on the budget proposal, but the budget proposal in this instance had come before the MTEF was laid before uh, the National Assembly. Now, experts are concerned if we are still going the way of uh, using the MTEF as a benchmark to determine what goes on on the budget. Yeah, now, if that is the case, uh, if that is is the case if the uh, well I, I don't know but but i don't think the budget had been laid before the national assembly there was a proposal uh, so, already and uh, there could be a proposal but the, we, I, I mean i don't think uh, that is not a you know a formal proposal uh so i, I wouldn't count that uh, as as um, you know as a formal proposal but but if that is the case then it means that uh, you know we are in violation of what the constitution and the fiscal responsibility act says because the budget more is predicated on the 
uh, uh, indicators and the conditions set out in the uh, medium-term uh, uh, expenditure framework and the fiscal strategy paper. So, so if the president, I mean, if the executive now sends a, a proposal for 2020 budget ahead of the MTF and FSP, then, then that's, that's a violation of the constitution. All right, Olusha Gualemo, we have to leave it at this point. Thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. To beat the December deadline, the National Assembly set for itself to conclude a thorough review of the 2020 appropriation bill is in motion as he has received the medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper for 2020 to 2022. The presidency sent a 2020-2022 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper to the National Assembly for approval. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, confirmed the receipt of the fiscal document at Wednesday's plenary before inaugurating all the 69 Senate standing committees. Joining me now via Skype is a public finance and policy analyst, Olushegun Elemo. Olushegun, it's good to have you join me right now. Now, there Thank has you. been a lot of uh, commendations since the, the government, the, the executive and the National Assembly talked about the issue of returning to the January to December budget cycle. And we have seen a lot of things in motion. But... So far, the, the September time or, 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 or tentative uh, uh, time that was fixed it seems not feasible right now. But what, what are you seeing that is threatening or that could threaten uh, the submission of the budget and then uh, uh, reverting back to the January to December cycle from next year? Yes, thank you once again for having me. Um, what, uh, the first thing that, you know, had affected that, that plan to... Uh, meet the December deadline is the late submission of the MTF and the FSP. Uh, the FSP should have been submitted much earlier in September, uh, given the provision of the Fiscal Responsibility Act. Uh, also, uh, what could affect you know that uh, quick passage of the 2020 budget now is, is um, you know the National Assembly having enough time to quickly scrutinize uh, uh, the, 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 the the MTF and the FSP. Now that uh, the president had gone ahead to give the indicators on what to expect in the budget itself when it is now submitted, uh, I think that uh, the, uh, the National Assembly can now quickly do its work and expect the full budget document to now be laid uh, before it. Mind you, uh, the budget call circular had gone out on the 16th of September. Uh, after the budget call circular goes out, usually you expect that within one or two weeks, you know, MDAs will then wrap up, you know, uh, their own activities around the budget and submit uh, to, to, to the government, which will now be ratified at a FEC meeting before it is now properly laid at the National Assembly. All right. Uh, that has not been done. I believe what is being done right now uh, is probably, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the MDAs should have now completed their own works. And then p perhaps what is being done now is a quality assurance on the budget. Uh, but I expect that uh, in the next FEC meeting, there should be some ratification on what, is, what has been proposed. And then the president should then go ahead and lay the budget. All right. Beyond the issue of the technicalities and the administration and the bureaucracy and the formalities that go around putting the budget together, one very critical thing Nigerians are talking about is the issue of the budget performance, which affects the everyday man on the street and all of the projects and all of the infrastructure and all of that from education to infrastructure to housing to uh, health and so on. How would, you, how would you rate and how would you assess the, the level of performance of the budget for 20, 2019 going into 2020? I have always said this uh, in many forums. Uh, the way I see budget performance is not the way the federal government sees budget performance. Uh, the federal government sees budget performance in terms of releases. I personally don't see budget performance in terms of releases. I see budget performance in terms of the efficiency, the effectiveness, and the economy of budget spending. If budget spending uh, on health, on education, on, on water, on, on, on roads, on housing, if they are not efficient, if they are not effective, 
if they are not economical, if they have not achieved its set objectives for which those allocations were been made, then we cannot say that the budget has performed. But when you just term budget performance in terms of releases, when you say that you have released 70 percent of capital expenditure and you say the budget has performed, how has those how I mean how have the you know the, the 70 percent been utilized in terms of impacting on the lives of ordinary Nigerians on the street, because that's what they want to see. If the average civil servant cannot, cannot access you know, uh, affordable housing, if they cannot access affordable health care, if they cannot access, if, if they cannot you know, feed themselves, then how would you say the budget is performing? So those are the issues. And when you consider it with the 2019 budget, mind you, uh, when you look at the, the, the time gap uh, with which the 2019 budget went through, the MTF was submitted in November 6th, the full budget was submitted in uh, December 19. Mm. Uh, the time gap between that is 43 days. Now, if the president is sending uh, the MTF and the FSP, uh, you know, in September 25, which was yesterday, uh, and uh, if you are going by what happened in, uh, in 2019, uh, you expect the budget to now be laid, laid in November 8, which is already... All right, Olusha, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we have to end it here now. Your, the network from your end seemed to be uh, cracking up. But I must thank you for your insight into this issue. Thank you very much, Olushegun uh, Elemo, for talking to us right there. Now, the plan to beat the December deadline the National Assembly set for itself it, to conclude a thorough review of the 2020 appropriation bill is in motion as it has received the medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper for 2020-2022. The presidency sent the 2020-2022 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper to the National Assembly for approval. A president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, confirmed the receipt of uh, the fiscal documents at Wednesday's plenary before inaugurating all the 69 Senate Standing Committees. Well, joining me via Skype is a public uh, finance and policy analyst, Olushegun. Elemo, thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having now, me. Now, the, the president has asked uh, the Senate or the National Assembly to urgently uh, take legislative action uh, on this uh, budget proposal that was uh, sent to the, the National Assembly in order to perhaps meet uh, the deadline in December. How important is this urgent action, seeing that uh, we intend to begin on a new slate? Yes, uh, it is very important that uh, Parliament, you know, uh, speed up uh, its activities around the medium-term expenditure framework, as well as the fiscal strategy paper. As you know, uh, the 2020 budget uh, is prepared uh, from different MDAs and put together as a whole document to be submitted to the National Assembly based on the parameters, the macroeconomic parameters set in the MTEF uh, uh, and FSP 2020 to 2022. So the MTEF and the FSP, uh, uh, the MTEF 2020 to 2022 is very, very critical. Until uh, the parliament approves that document, it cannot look into the full budget uh, uh, proposal itself. Now, does uh, the timing necessarily translate to budget performance, uh, seeing that uh, the Senate is looking at, uh, like I said earlier, starting on the new slate and considering budgets from January to December? Yes, uh, it, it's going by what they want to do. I mean, the parliament and the executive now are trying to uh, redirect the budget calendar now from January to December. I think it's still feasible. Uh, it's still feasible if... Parliament now speeds up its uh, activities on the MTEF and FSP document, and then the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the executive arm can also wrap up its work on the full budget document, which I believe should be done as soon as the president returns from uh, the United Nations General Assembly. Uh, uh, once that is done now, the president can then quickly take the full budget document to, to the National Assembly, and then the National Assembly can, can then wrap up its work before December and pass it. But, but I'm also very careful, uh, because the president uh, has already uh, uh, you know, taken about a month uh, from, from the, the, the time specified in the Fiscal Responsibility Act. The Fiscal Responsibility Act says that four months before the next financial year. So if we are looking at starting the next financial year by January, then that MTEF document should have gone to the National Assembly at least uh, the last week in August or the first week in September. But going now, we can still salvage you know, what is left of it 
uh, uh, because now the the executive uh, and the and the and the legislature they have very harmonious relationships. So I believe I believe there will be less rancor. But I also expect that due diligence uh, will be will be uh, made on the document on the part of legislature. And as much as we are past. looking at timing, like I mentioned earlier, we are looking at on the one hand there is an issue of budget performance and there is also timing. Does the timing necessarily translate to performance? No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't translate to performance. So, for instance, uh, you know, we've had in, in the past years where the financial year, you know, ran from June to June, uh, I mean, from July to June. Uh, we've had, in, you know, several cases where it has never been about January to December. So it's not about January to December. That does not mean that the budget is going to perform. You know, if the budget had not performed optimally in the past, uh, it, it's not going to. It's, it's not the January to December uh, redirection that will cause the budget to perform. What will cause the budget to perform is when monies are released on time to MDAs, when projects are awarded properly, when uh, procurements are done uh, uh, properly, and when audits, you know, on those programs and projects of government are carried out. Then we can now measure the effectiveness and the economy of that particular budget spending. Until that is done, we cannot say the budget has performed. But you know, like I said earlier. Uh, the way federal government, you know, looks at budget performance, he looks at it in terms of releases. So when you ask the federal government that as the, is the budget performing, they will tell you that yes, the budget is performing because they have released 40 percent of capital expenditure, they have released 50 percent of capital expenditure. But the ordinary Nigerian on the street do not care about whether you have released, although they do care. But what they care most about is whether those releases is translating to uh, you know more improved lives for them on the street. Ulusha Gwen Lemo, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you very much.